Lord, we know we need to pray. But sometimes it's really hard. The best we can do is be quiet. And maybe in our quiet, the Spirit will speak. Eternal God, we are waiting. Touch us where the raw places of anger and hurt are found. Heal us where the wounds of pain and disappointment lie open. Restore us where we are broken or brittle. Connect us where we are separated from you and from others. You are great, Lord. You can draw beauty out of barrenness, courage out of fear, love out of loneliness. You can make darkness light and turn silence into singing. You can help us handle our troubles and live with them when they can't be handled. You can take each new day and turn it into a miracle of grace. You understand our failures and keep nudging us forward. And you give us courage to accept the chances that lie before us today. You open us to love and give us gifts to cherish. For you are Lord and to you we pray. O holy opener of our eyes, it's so easy for us to recognize the sacred places in our life, like this place. And it's so easy for us to perceive the holy times in our life, like this time. So will you help us, Lord, to see the sacred and sense the holy in new ways? Will you help us, Lord, to see that the time for fun, and there's also a time for work, there's a time for birth, a time for death, a time for being together, and a time for solitude, a time for loving, and a time for letting go. Could you somehow make these all holy times? Will you help us, Lord, to make our homes and schools and hospitals, our offices, shops, our courtrooms and our churches and seats of government and bedrooms to be indeed sacred places? We hope that's not too much to ask. Open our eyes, Lord, to see all of life as you do, holy and sacred. This prayer is for Mary and Wise. <laughs> Dear Lord, when the days all begin to look alike, <coughs> and people's voices start to sound the same, when the scenes we love no longer excite us, and this hour is just like the last, when the stream of life is still, and there's no breeze to refresh. It's then, Lord, that we ache for color, for butterflies and sunrise, for rainbows and blue sky. 
and our days are gray, Lord, and we're gray. We pray that our lives might be transformed, that the dull hills and valleys of life might become a Yellowstone, or a sunset over the bay. So please, add a splash of color, Lord, to our lives. And then lend us your paintbrush <coughs> that we might do the same for others. I think on such a beautiful day, a litany of thanksgiving might be appropriate. Page 837 in the prayer book. <laughs> 